Okay, what's up, YouTube? It is Pacey AI one more time. About to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. And I want to talk to you guys about this one. This is Notebook LM. We have a recent update, a UI refresh. And I think this is pretty cool, as you guys can see. And we do have a new, very interesting feature that I want to demo and test out. So you guys definitely got to subscribe and check out my videos, as I'll be doing a lot more videos like this in the future. But as you guys can see, I have some sources right here. Now, I added sources from URLs for GTA 6 news. So essentially, I just put the website link here. You can add many different types of sources to Notebook LM, including Google Docs, Google Slide, so on and so forth, PDFs. I did a video touching on this before, so you guys could check that out. But essentially, what I really want to focus on is the interactive mode. Now, as you guys can see, this is the audio overview. Now, audio overview is generated based off the sources that you provide to Notebook LM. And once that audio overview is generated, you can listen to a podcast between a male and a female where they discuss the sources that you provided. So I am going to try out the interactive mode. As you can see, this is in beta. But essentially what this is, is it allows you to interrupt the conversation of the podcasters at any point in time. So you can listen to it and at any point in time, you can interrupt and ask questions or provide feedback, whatever you want to do. And they will respond to whatever you say in real time. And will also tie it back into the topic that they are currently discussing. So I'm going to test this out by allowing this podcast to run for a bit. Then I'm going to interrupt and I'm going to try to see if I can get it to respond to my questions in real time. So let's get it. Hey, gamers, welcome to uh, another deep dive into all things GTA 6. GTA 6. I feel like we say this every time. Right. But uh, the hype is real. Absolutely. I mean, everybody's waiting I think so. for this game to drop. Yeah. And we've got a ton of articles here. We do. A ton of information, a ton of speculation, mm -hmm. and even some official little hints here and there Yeah. Um, about GTA 6. So let's dive in. Okay. First of all, yeah. when is it coming out? Right. That's the big question. That's man. the million dollar question. That's what everybody wants to know. We got that first trailer. Yeah, way back when. Back in December 2023. 2023 feels like a lifetime ago. I know, right? Oh. <laughs> And then 2024 came in there. Want to share your thoughts on this? Yeah, I just wanted to ask, what do you think about some of the leaks and some of the rumors that people are talking about on social media? Can you give me just some information on that? Thanks. Okay, so you're asking about the leaks and rumors. Yeah, that's a big part of the conversation right now. It totally is. And it's all over social media. It's hard to miss them if you're online. So let's unpack that a bit since you asked. Yeah, because there's tons of stuff out there. What are the biggest rumors? It's about the graphics. Oh, yeah. That's a good place to start. This one leaker claims the graphics will be better than Red Dead Redemption 2. Which is saying a lot. Right. That's a really high bar. For sure. And this person described the game as truly next-gen. Okay, so that's some pretty strong language. Yeah, they mentioned hurricane-type weather. I know, with NPCs getting knocked off their feet. It's wild to think about that kind of detail. It really is. But, yeah, there's also all this stuff about a release date. Right. Everyone wants to know when it's... Oh, go for it. Do you know anything about maybe the music that will be in GTA, like how that will work? Uh, I mean, I don't know if the sources touch on that, but do you know about how the music will work in GTA, like the music that plays in cars and things of that nature? That's a great question, and it's something that really makes GTA stand out. Yeah, the music in GTA is like iconic. It's almost like another character in the game. Absolutely. And you're right. The sources don't go too deep into that. But based on previous games, we can make some educated guesses. Okay, let's unpack it. Well, first of all, we know the radio stations are going to be back. Oh, yeah. Each with its own unique genre. That's like a given. And, you know, in previous games, they've always had a huge variety. Right. Like everything from hip hop to rock to pop to electronic. Exactly. And even talk radio. I remember that. So that gives you a whole lot of options to choose from when you're driving. And it really sets the mood for whatever you're doing in the game. Yeah. It's the soundtrack to your chaos. I love that. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh huh. What do you think about 
when Rockstar will release the next trailer and what do you think that trailer will be like? You know, do, do what do you think Rockstar will try to make that trailer look like? Give me your thoughts on that. Yeah, so that one didn't work. That last question that I asked for some reason wasn't able to reply. But basically, as you can see, it works to a degree. You can ask your questions in real time and maybe you don't want to stray too much away from the topic because maybe it will start hallucinating. But if you kind of stick to the topic or ask a question related to what is in the sources, then it should be able to go into the sources and actually give you a proper answer for those questions. But it's still in beta, obviously, guys. So take this with a grain of salt. This is definitely new. This is definitely the early days, but I think this is a pretty cool feature to know that you can now interact with this podcast as if you're listening to a live podcast and being able to call into the show and give your thoughts, give your two cents, or just ask questions or bring up queries or whatever it is. So that is pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'm going to leave the link to Notebook LM in the description for you guys to try out this feature. I think this is an amazing step forward for AI. I, I think this is bridging the gap between AI and reality. And this is the future of everything when you think about it. I mean, this is incredible. Just the realism of Notebook LM and now the fact that it can actually listen to what you're saying, you being able to actually interrupt the conversation and provide feedback or ask questions and it being able to answer you in real time. That is pretty insane. Never thought that this feature would be here anytime soon. And to see this happening in real time, this is really, really cool. And you just imagine what they can do in the next few years. It's just ridiculous. It's getting more and more ridiculous by the day. So this is really crazy. But let me know what you guys think. Have a great day. Pacey AI signing out. I'll be putting out more videos like this in the future. But have a great day. Pacey AI signing out. Peace.